Students, students, I have terrible news to tell you. I can't wait another second to. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Am I muted? No. No, okay. Am I talking loud enough? Maybe if I get closer. Yeah, yeah, that's better. As I was saying, um, I'm truly devastating information that our production has been canceled. You all have worked so hard and I was really looking forward to our dress rehearsal tonight, but I'm sorry to report that our production of Brushes with Greatness, a dental hygiene musical, will never see the light of day. No one will ever get to witness your interpretation of this great, great American classic. <laughs> you know what they say, the show must go on, but in this case it can't. Oh, I should go. Goodbye for now. Now how do you turn this thing off? Siri, end video. Okay, okay, that was easy. Hello? Oh, hi, Principal Barry. Yes, I know the show's canceled. What? No, the drama de department can't shut down permanently. What? I, I know the musical is supposed to raise money for next year, but no, 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 wait, you can't shut down the entire drama pro- Okay, goodbye. Oh, the video didn't send? Well, maybe if I just press send, it will... Calling all cast and crew! Did you see that video? Wow, Miss Leah does not know how to use technology. But more importantly, we can't lose the drama department! We have to do something, no matter what obstacles we face. Life mirrors art, and this is just like our musical. Like Bob Flossie says in the start of Brushes with Greatness. We don't give up. We don't give in. We journey on. We rise again. Although we face our greatest fall. We don't give up. Yes, this I know. Well, maybe it's not like that last part, but you know what I mean. Let me know what you think. Hello, fellow thespians. I'm speaking to you all from the side of my closet, where I retreated as soon as I heard the terrible news. I decided to move in here and hide away from the world. After all, if there's no musical theater, what's the point of going outside? I spend the rest of my days nestled amongst my old costumes, my tap shoes, and the signed poster from last year's production, Susical the Musical. I was a great Joe the Turtle, wasn't I? Don't cry for me, former classmates. I'll be fine. I'll be here. Sitting out Ray Marlowe and Miranda and quietly humming the score to Pippin. For the rest, our eternity. Good luck with the rest of your lives. So long. Farewell. Off for to spin. Goodbye. And see you. You can't just crawl into our closets. We have to bring brushes with greatness to life and save the drama program. I have an idea. You know how we're all sending videos to each other right now? What if we did the show online just like this? I mean, if you can order Ben Plassey's tissues on the internet, then you can totally do a show on... Not that anyone would buy used tissues on the internet... What kind of person would spend $40 on something like that? Totally ridiculous. Nobody would. I know I wouldn't. Yuck. 
All I'm saying is you can do a lot online. We could film ourselves in pieces of scenes together to make a full musical. We could... <laughs> Achoo! Oh, dear Evan Hansen, what have I done? Yes, that is a genius idea, but not the $40 tissue. That is just ridiculous. Oh, but a virtual musical is a great idea. We can perform Brushes with Greatness, the dental hygiene musical at home and stream it online. But check it out, I figured out the perfect way to perform the opening number at home. <laughs> Since a mouth appeared that had some teeth There's been a silent battle just beneath And who fights that battle? Well, you've known them since you Our heroes Bob, Flossie, and Tommy, too Come listen to their brush, 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 brush Right? Only problem is, um, Leah, I don't think she's gonna like the idea very much. She's pretty scared of technology. How do we get her to agree? Um, I may have an idea for how we can get Leah to agree. I wrote a little something. And I'm not sure if it's any good, but maybe if you could help. I don't usually perform my songs, but we have to save the drama club, so here goes nothing. School's closed, the theater too. What are the actors supposed to do? How do we go on with the show? beautiful deeply deeply moved i was a little hesitant at first but the show must go on you've all inspired me and given me hope let the dress rehearsal begin how do you think they found out about the drama club mr whiskers do you know me neither you know i was in the production of cats once that was tremendous meow meow <clears throat> Whiskers, is it still recording? Siri, you troublemaker. Okay, maybe if I just press. Sorry to interrupt your speaker's cats. Good to know. Anyway, to rest her So, since we're home, we might as well get creative. I mean, why don't we film some of the toothbrushing songs in an actual bathroom with actual toothbrush and toothpaste? Check it out, because this could be really good for the big plaque battle at the and at the end of the show when the plaques are like
amazing form. Although I guess it was kind of hard to hear the lyrics. Oh well, we'll work on that later. I've been working on Plaque's song in the Great Gum Canyon all day. I think I finally figured out the perfect way to perform it at home. Now I had some interruptions before, but we're all good now. This is scene three, take six. This is Emily. Um, she likes to bask under the sun and chase crickets around and eat. She's very good at eating. Want it? And she can sleep. Oh, she's a stellar sleeper. And she can dig in the sand and she's good at being scaly and She's just good at being the best. Uh, that's kind of it. I know this has nothing to do with the musical, but I just wanted to show you her face. Have you seen anything cuter than this face? <laughs> okay, that's it. Bye. So back to the musical. It's your trusty costume designer here. Now remember, even though the costumes are at the school, we can still get creative in our own house. After all, this is our dress rehearsal. As we discussed last week, our base costumes will be all black. No logos, no designs. Yes, that includes our Olaf t-shirt, Toby. Let it go. Now, I have some suggestions for everybody. For Tommy Tooth and my other toothbrushes, I want you all to take some hair brushes and tape them to your hands, like this. See? It's really easy. And now the other hand. Well, once you have one brush on there, it doesn't make it a little harder to do the second brush. I guess you could just hold it. Just hold the brushes in your hand, like so. Like your toothbrush with bristles. Then you can sing and dance easily. Though I suppose you have to pick something up. Never mind, just get creative. Don't let me down. Thanks for the costume tips. This next song is the emotional center of the entire story. That heart-wrenching moment when Tommy Tooth apologizes. I've been working on my expressions in the mirror all day, and I think I finally achieved an Audrey McDonald-level performance. Now all I have to do is capture it on film. But that'll be easy enough. Here I go. When you look at my face, Your 
sounded great, but the camera work was a little bit off. I have an idea that might make things easier. What if Tommy Tooth was played by an actual toothbrush so that you could see his whole entire body while he's singing? Brilliant, right? When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you amazing, right? When you look at my heart, you will understand I care. What a performance when you take a deep look into my eyes. Oh, whoops. Okay, real toothbrushes. Anyway, hello from your lighting designer. I thought I'd demonstrate some ways you can do lighting design at home. For instance, you can turn lights on. Or off. Blackout. And if you have dimmer, you can thin them. Alexa, turn it on. Echo glow. Okay. Alexa, dim echo glow. Okay. And, um, what else? Well, you can have some on and some off. Alexa, turn off Echo Glow. Okay. And if you have a lamp, you can use it. And, um, that's about it. Good luck, I guess. Lights up. Spotlight on me. As you all know, this next song contains the most important information in the whole musical, which is why I will be demonstrating it to you. It's the big reveal, so the stakes are extremely high. If the audience misses this, the whole show will fall apart. We mustn't let that happen, so we have to be extremely clear. Like so. <laughs> battle, our biggest battle yet. I'm reminded of a hero who I never could forget. The one who makes the evil forces win. And his name is... Line? What's the line? Oh, okay, okay, I got it. He is caring, he is daring, he is everybody's friend. And his name will I'll remember to the end I met him and I liked him ever since And his name is... Wait, what was his name again? Hold on Oh, okay <clears throat> And his name is... He well, I guess we'll never know his name, will we? <laughs> this is your stage manager here we are moments away from showtime. Now I want everyone to stay calm, okay? We're going to be fine. Fine, I'm fine. Are you fine? I'm sure you are because calm is contagious. And I am totally calm. You're all doing great. Really good stuff. But I do have a t few tiny little notes before we go live, okay? Okay. One, find a quiet spot to record. Two, Remember your lines, especially the important ones. Three, don't sing with a toothbrush in your mouth. I'm begging you. Four, make sure the camera is pointed at your face when you're singing about your face. And five, for goodness sake, don't buy a $40 used tissue online. That's not about the show, but just don't do it, okay? <sighs> okay, we're about to go live. Remember, this is just for family and friends, so there's no pressure. Just have fun and...
Uh-oh. How is this possible? Is this real? Oh, it's real. Okay. Okay. Um, some news. It looks like Kristen Bell heard about her show somehow, and she tweeted the link to our live performance, and she's hosting a virtual viewing party, and over 50,000 people have RSVP'd, but that's totally fine, right? Right. Okay, places. It's showtime. Ah! <laughs> Hello to all viewers. Welcome to our virtual theater. My students tell me this is live on the interweb, so thank you for joining us. As always, I would like to remind you to unwrap your candies and turn off those cellular devices. Oh, a message. Um, my stage manager tells me that you need your devices to watch it, so keep them on, I guess. That's neat, neat. Um, a lot of you have been with us since the very beginning. Our first production of In the Tights, a Shakespearean hip-hop opera. And some of you have been with us for the first time. We thank you for the support. I don't know what we would do if the drama club was gone forever. Um, never mind all that. I present to you Brushes with Greatness, the Dental Hygiene Musical. Tooth, the legendary toothbrush, is that you? Who's asking? It's me, Bob Flossie, your old floss pal. I haven't seen you since the deep cleaning of 92 when we banished Tally Flaw. Tallis, right. She was awful. You were legendary. That was a long time ago. I don't clean mouths no more. I'm retired. <sighs> but we got ourselves a plaque situation. Nobody cleans like you. Plaque's too big for me now. Kid, there's no hope. I give up. <sighs> no, I refuse to that. We don't give up. <laughs> and I think I found the perfect place to live. Oh, this mouth is amazing. Look at all the tartar and build up in the glorious gum canyon. Shh. Do you hear that? No. <laughs> That's because it's the sound of perfect silence and serenity. <laughs> There's no toothbrush or floss in sight. And I'm totally certain they aren't nearby eavesdropping. Amazing! <laughs> I like it, Q-U-I-E-T Yes, quiet is the best for me How I love the lovely hush Away from a buzzing brush Oh, fa-la-la, tra-la-la, scooby-dee-doo-ba-dee-dee -dee -dee. It's quiet time for me Oh, 
Well, this is the best. I'm so glad I banished Tommy Tooth Bob Flossie in the most terrible theater of all. He must not be named. I like the food quite sugary. Yes, candy fills my heart with glee. Nothing like a sweet old snack to give a boost to good old black. That's me. Forget to floss. I'm the boss. Thank you for setting me free. It's quiet time for me. I love it so quiet, the silence is what I enjoy. Hey, Tommy Tooth, did you hear what Plaque just said we were totally eavesdropping? Shit dig, kid. Who is he who must not be named? It sounds like he's our only hope at defeating Plaque. Do you know him? Do I? As we ready for this battle, our biggest battle yet. I'm reminded of a hero who I never could forget. The one who makes the evil forces wins. And his name is Helmets. He's caring, he is daring, he is everybody's friend. And his name will live forever, but remember it's the end. I met him and I'd like to never My old friend, it's me, Tommy Tooth. I knew I'd find you here in the canine cavern. Wait, before you scamper off, just hear me out. I'm sorry about the great peanut butter on the roof of the mouth mishap of 87. I know I blamed you, but I was the one to blame. Now, we have a serious plaque problem, and we need your help. Please, I'm begging you. Harold, I know we've been down this road before And you said you'd never work with me again Yes, I know I've made mistakes It's the tooth I've caused some aches But know that you will always be my friend When you look at my face You can clearly see I need you When you look at my heart you will understand I care Harold, I do care If you take a deep breath and look into my eyes You see the soul that never lies I face my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes Oh Harold, I love you too Now let's go pulverize me Plaque, why couldn't you have stayed away for once? Harold Rince, Bob Flossie, Tommy Tooth, the dental trifecta that's right, and we want you out of this mouth, now! <laughs> Forget it. This is my turf now. And I think this tooth is ready for extraction, don't you? No! Not the molar! This mouth is my domain now. I don't want you around. I'm sick of dealing with your flossing, brushing sound! Step away from that tooth! Never. Well, then it's time for battle. Come on, team. No brutes will die to fight in cavities. Kiss blood goodbye to fight in cavities. This tooth won't be pulled out. Go down easily, and I will my friend, Gingivitis. Oh no, there's two of them. That 
That's right. And together we're going to wreck this mouth. No, please. Black, you have to see reason. Beautiful. This mouth can be so beautiful. Every lure and incisor could be clean. Boom. Attack! Get him! We're fighting! Truly, truly remarkable. That was the best defying cavities I've seen since Adele Demean made her off, off, off Broadway debut. Now I want to thank you all again for tuning in. And ha oh, I'm so sorry. And no phones in the theater. Thank you all again. Hello? Barry? Oh, you watched? They did. They do. Oh, oh that's wonderful news. Thank you, thank you for saving the drama club. Of course, we'll be right back next year with Gracie, the car mechanic musical. All right, thanks again. Talk to you later. Is it still on? Oh, what is up with technology? It's almost like I left it on on purpose. How do we go on with the show? We rehearsed, we sung along, we know the words to every song. Turn the page. Time to start the new. The whole world I see. And this is what we do. Set the lights, fill the screen. The show must go on. The show must go on. Piece by piece, scene by scene. The show must go on. The show must go on. Oh, the show must go on.